As we just entered into month of May 2024, it's time for me to share real estate data for South Florida, and I will be happy to explain you all these numbers and how these numbers will affect you, either you're a seller, buyer, landlord, tenant, or even if you don't have any plans on making a transaction this year. Let's turn in and get started. So let's start from closed transactions. And this month we see a declining number of transactions, especially if we compare it to the last year by 4.8% from 1,081 transaction to 1,041 transaction. That means that we are in a little slower market. And the reason for it is continuously inclining interest rates. Buyers are on the fence waiting for the interest rates to come down and sellers, they still have reasons for them to sell. And that brings us to the point where we see the declining number of transactions. On the other hand, the number of transactions in cash actually on the rise by 1.8%. And again, that's another reason for us to look into interest rates that we're currently seeing more buyers buying it straight out cash because getting a mortgage right now and refinancing in a few months just make no sense to uh, home buyers. Median sales price, it jumped significantly compared to last year by 14%. So if you had a property last year, average price was 570,000 now it's 650 can you imagine if you own real estate that you made such a tremendous increase in value in actually declining year where we saw spikes in interest rates where we saw significant impacts on the real estate market and we still see this tremendous increase in median sales price volume also on the rise uh, we see 13.8% in dollar volume increase. So we see more transactions happening. Median time in the contract, it actually goes down. I was really surprised to see uh, that it dropped from 35 days from listing to actually getting under contract to 31 day. That means that homes selling faster. Interesting trend that homes selling faster but less home selling. So for the sellers, it's a good thing. You can offer quicker, you get the property under contract quicker, and it sounds very reasonable for 31 days to be on average on the market. Uh, I also see the trend that lease to sale ratio going a little higher than the last year. It was 96%, uh, now it's 97. So sellers actually getting the price they want at the lower number of days, faster, and more money, they getting closer to the list price. And we also see that uh, time to sale also dropping down slightly from uh, 73 days from the time what you when you're posting the property for sale to the time when you're actually getting the check in hand. So this time actually goes down. And I also want to share with you the active inventory. We have more and more homes coming on the market. An increase is significant compared to last year by 14.2% from uh, 3299 uh, to 3768. And the reason for it is that sellers were kind of cautious of what they're going to do after this rapid growth that we saw in South Florida for the past few years. And they paused last year, last year, last summer, last fall, interest rates, a lot of changes. So no one wanted really to buy or sell at that point. Right now, people adjust to the current market condition and they realize market is market and they need to move, they need to sell, they need to get access to their funds, to their money, uh, to their equity, and they putting properties on the market and they're selling it. And the fact is they sell it for the price that they're asking and they sell it relatively quickly. So we have the increase uh, in uh, inventory from 3.5 to 4.3, which is a tremendous increase. It's 22.9%. And that also shows a little healthier market. That means if you're a buyer, it makes sense for you to stop shopping right now because inventory is higher. 
we have more options, more homes on the market. And these homes are moving quickly. So it's not like these homes are city. Buyers paying the price that sellers asking, and it is very healthy market right now. So I promised you to explain these numbers. If you're a seller uh, and you're experiencing this tremendous increase in uh, equity year after year, and you don't need to sell, don't sell it. It makes no sense for you to sell something that's appreciating at such a rapid speed. If you're a buyer and you're in a rental, definitely go ahead, talk to a mortgage broker, give me a call, let's start the process and it is better for you to pay your own mortgage rather than paying your landlord's mortgage. Market is healthy, a lot of options available for sale right now. Interest rates, yes, they're a little higher than you wish. However, in, when interest rates come down, obviously a lot of buyers who are on the fence will also jump into the market and the market will be overcrowded by buyers and you're not gonna get as sweet deal as you can get right now when it's relatively healthy. If your landlord, uh, it, it makes sense for you to evaluate your property, how it's performing. And instead of waiting uh, for the right market, uh, I would say if you need to make an adjustment and let's say go from a single family to a multifamily home, it is a good time for us to consider that option now. And he, unless uh, you are um, thinking about just keeping it the way it is, if it's performing well, yeah, sure, it makes sense for you to keep it. I hope this information is valuable to you. I did my best to explain the stats. Stay tuned. Please consider subscribe to my channel to get updates like this, as well as more info about South Florida. What's it like to live in here? What's the market? What are the best neighborhoods? So I'll see you in the next video and check out this video next.